In the previous tutorial, we solved for sides on a right triangle. In this tutorial, we'll make a slight shift and focus on solving for angles. Again, let's remind ourselves that the basic trig ratios only work for right triangles. That is, triangles with a 90 degree angle in them. Note, the square in our example indicates that it is a 90 degree angle, and thus we're working with a right triangle. Perfect. Again, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, and always the side across from the 90 degree angle. Once we determine which angle we'll be looking for, and let's call it theta, we can determine that the opposite side is right across or opposite from that angle, and the adjacent side is beside or adjacent to our angle. From there, we choose an appropriate trig ratio, soka toa, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan equals opposite over adjacent. Let's take this knowledge and go ahead and solve a couple examples. Example 1. A hot air balloon is flying over a field at an elevation of 100 meters. The landing pad is a horizontal distance of 800 meters away from the current location. At what angle do they need to be looking to see the landing pad? Let's start with a sketch. We have the balloon at an elevation of 100 meters. Horizontally, we have the target 800 meters away. Drawing a line for our line of sight, and we have our triangle. Let's mark our unknown angle as theta. Let's identify the sides, so we know which ratio we're going to need. Pause the video and identify the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent side. Pause now. Let's see if you're right. The hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle, so here. Our reference angle is our theta, so opposite to theta is the horizontal distance 800 meters, here. And adjacent to theta is our elevation, 100 meters. So which trig ratio are we going to use? We know our unknown in this case is our theta, the angle. Therefore, we don't want any other unknowns. So we'll need to include our two knowns, the 800 meters and the 100 meters. Which trig ratio would use these sides? Thinking, Soka Toa. Pause the video and identify the ratio we're going to need. Pause now. Looking at the Soka Toa and knowing that we want to use the opposite, 800 meters, and the adjacent 100 meters, tan is the ratio we need. Tan of theta equals 800 over 100. To get theta by itself, we need to get rid of the tan on the left, and we can do this by using inverse tan. So we inverse tan both sides, and the inverse tan and tan cancel out on the left, leaving theta by itself. And on the right, we have the inverse tan of 800 over 100. And we can solve for that. Theta is 83 degrees. So, we could say that the angle between the vertical and the target area is 83 degrees. Another way to say this would be that the angle of depression here would be 90 minus 83 degrees, or a total of 7 degrees. So the angle of depression to the target is 7 degrees. One more example. Example 2. A road needs to be built that climbs up a large mountain. The road is going to be 6 kilometers in length and achieve an elevation gain of 1 kilometer. What is the average angle required for this road? Let's start with a sketch. We have the road, 6 kilometers and we have the elevation gain of one kilometer, and we can draw in a horizontal line and our unknown angle, theta. And let's identify the side so we know which ratio we'll need. The road itself is our hypotenuse, across from the 90 degree angle. Opposite to the angle, theta, is our elevation gain. 
and adjacent is our horizontal side. So which ratio do we use? Well, we know our unknown in this case is theta, and we don't want any other unknowns, just one unknown per equation. We'll need to include our two knowns as one kilometer and six kilometers. So which trig ratio uses these two sides? Thinking SOHCAHTOA, sine is the ratio we need. So sine of theta is one over six, and to get theta by itself, we need to get rid of the sine. So we can do the inverse sine on both sides. The inverse sine and sine cancel out on the left, leaving theta, and on the right we have the inverse sine of one over six. Theta is 9.6 degrees. We could say that the angle of inclination of the road is 9.6 degrees. In this tutorial, we reminded ourselves on how to use trig ratios to solve for the angle in a right triangle problem. We recall that the basic trig ratios only work with right triangles, that is, triangles that have a 90 degree angle in them. We reviewed on how to identify the sides. The hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle and is the longest side. The opposite is directly across from the reference angle. And the adjacent or leftover side is the one that's beside or adjacent to the reference angle. Once we've established the sides, it's time to pick a ratio. Our mnemonic is SOHCAHTOA. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan equals opposite over adjacent. We choose a ratio that leaves our angle as the only unknown, and the rest is just a little number crunching again. 